Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about PDU protocol data unit and how to create PDUs in a Cisco packet tracer. Before that we will learn what is PDU. PDU protocol data unit is a message that is transferred between devices. It is mostly used in OSI model as it describes about the data of the messages transferred by each layer. So now let's see how to create PDUs. Now let's have a network with a wireless router, a PC and a smartphone. So let's connect the PC and the wireless router with the copper straight through cable. Now we have our network. Let's give the IP address for the PC. Let's go to the desktop tab, IP configuration. Now let's have 192.168.0.100 and the subnet mask. So now let's go to the smartphone. Let's go to desktop, IP configuration. Let's give 192.168.0.101 and subnet mask. So now we have configured our smartphone and the PC. So now let's create PDUs. Go to the simulation mode to create PDUs. Here you have a simulation panel, an event list, and a reset simulation button. And we have play controls. This can control the speed of our packets. And these three buttons can be used to check how the messages are moving and we have event list filters so let's give show all none here if we give edit filters we have ip version 4 traffic ip version 6 traffic and miscellaneous today we'll try icmp so now we have the event list filters icmp so now let's create our traffic so can you see two envelopes one closed and one open so now gone add simple video and now click on the pc0 which means it is the source and click on the smartphone which is the destination here you will have a button like this so click it click on it and here you will see the source has PC0 and the destination has smartphone 0 and the type is ICMP. Here too you will ca you can see that the message is in the PC0 and the type is ICMP. Now let's see how the traffic moves. So let's manually click here. So it the message moves to the wireless router and to the smartphone. Now again to the wireless router and the PC0. Now we have a tick mark which means that the traffic is completed and uh, our message is moved correctly. So now we will give reset simulation. So it came to the first step. So now let's play it. It moves to the wireless router and to the smartphone again to the wireless router and to the PC so now even this message is completed properly so now we will try this one which is the complex PDU before that you can give new and click on this and let's give the PC as the source and you will have the source settings you can give the destination as destination has the smartphone and the sequence number has 10 and you have sim two simulation settings the one shot means the messages will move only once 
periodic wheels it can move many times in the interval of um, whatever seconds we give so now let's try periodic and let's give 5 seconds so now let's give create video now again we have uh, the source has PC0 and the destination has 192.168.0.1 which is the IP address of the smartphone and the message is in the PC0 and the type is IC. So now let's click on this so it moves to the wireless router and to the smartphone again to the wireless router and PC. Now our message is completed properly and we have a tick mark. Now we will give reset simulation. Now let's play it. So now it is moved to the wireless router and to the smartphone. Again to the wireless router and the PC. So now we have a tick marks which means that the message is properly moved. So now we have worked with simple PDU and complex PDU. Now let's see what are the contents of our PDU. So here we have many uh, messages. So let's click one. Let's click on the first one. So you can see here out layers. Here in the layer three, the first we'll see about layer one. The fast Ethernet 0 of PC0 is sent, the sends of the frame and the in the layer 2 it is said about the next hop. In the layer 3 the ping process it starts. The outbound PDU you can see the source IP address, destination IP address and the destination MAC address, source MAC address and we have many um, information about our PDU. So now let's click on wireless router. Um, from PC0 it moves to the wireless router. Here we have in layers which means that it is taking the PDU from the PC. So in the layer 1 gigabit Ethernet 1 of a wireless router receives the frame. In the layer 2 uh, the frame source MAC address was found in the MAC table of the wireless router. In the out layers, layer 1 sends out the wireless 1 sends out the frame to the smartphone 0. In the layer 2, the outgoing port is an access port. It talks about the smartphone. So now take time to click on every devices and see every PDU messages. Thank you.